Hey, what's going on? I'm Brian Summers, photographer and content creator. And in this video, we're talking about a, another Polaroid shoot I did with the SX-70. So if you have a shoot that you have to do in 15 minutes, it's best to choose somebody that you've been shooting with for some time. And that's exactly what happened with these photos. I only had 15 minutes to shoot with Ari Chambers, somebody who I've shot with for some time, good friend, I've known her since I moved to New York, and since then I've just seen her grow and it's become this awesome personality and awesome person to shoot on camera. So if you're looking for someone to photograph or looking for someone who to be a personality on camera, she's definitely that person. I realized Aria lived about 15 to 20 minutes away from me, so it's almost like shame on us for not shooting sooner, but we finally took this time to do something. I had an idea to do a Polaroid shoot, so I called up Ari and said, hmm, I think Ari might be good for this particular shoot. I'm just pulling up on the homies that I haven't seen in a while. Initially, I said, wear something fancy, but I switched it up because it's kind of cold. And at this point, I was still testing out the series. Now, originally, this 15 minutes was probably 30, but it ended up getting cut short because I wanted to shoot as many Polaroid shots as I could this day. And I shot somebody before Ari, and that went over a little bit. So advice to you, advice to myself, uh, be sure to have good time management if you know you're going to do multiple shoots in one day, even though they're down the street from each other. Yo, so I just had a few minutes to just do this quick shoot. I've been meaning to shoot with the homie Woo! for some time. We out here. Oh. So, so I'm about to shoot on this little oh, yeah. gridded background right here. It looks kind of cool. Polaroids. I'm not in the light, but we're gonna do it real quick. So I didn't have much time to scout this location. It was my first time in this area since we were both shooting in between shoots. I wanted to make sure this was easy and convenient for her. So we shot in her neighborhood. When I got to the area, I had about two to five minutes to find a location that we might be able to shoot in. With COVID in mind, I didn't want to go inside. And I also shoot natural light anyway. So if it was inside, it would have been like right next to a window anyway. But we're outside. On my way there, I saw one location that was a huge garage door and it was even in the shadows. But I thought I might not come out that nice because this camera is temperamental. Polaroids period can be temperamental. Um, and I just wanted to get something that I knew could be interesting and also quick. I drove a little bit further down that road and I saw this gridded wall that looked like it would have some good shadows. The thing about Polaroids is that you lose a lot of details. You won't get a really sharp image unless the light is super bright and you're just right up on the person and it's on a tripod and your settings are just right. You're not going to get every little detail on a Polaroid. And that's one thing that I like because when you're shooting and you lose a little bit, it gives you more of a shape sometimes. So if you're shooting a Polaroid and you want to capture negative space, the black area above or below this parking garage wall is that shadow that you lose detail on that becomes a solid black. tip if it's super bright stop it down you have limited control on the polaroid camera so just know that stopping up or down is going to be the most that you have to manipulate in camera your functionality is limited you have the shutter release button and you have the exposure compensation on the other side or wherever it is on your polaroid camera you can put an indie filter on something or a different filter over the lens or, or even over the cartridge to manipulate your shot but as far as the buttons go on the camera it's only about two or three and you have to know where to be to get the shot exposed the right way even the temperature is a factor if it's too cold or if it's too warm that might affect your shot four quick shots um 
see how that comes out. We out here. We out here. So out of the four shots we were able to get off, I'm not mad at any of the shots. I actually love the fact that some of them came out a little bit overexposed because as bright as what she had on, she was kind of glowing that day. So it just added to the whole thing. A piece of direction I always give models is to keep your chin up. People always tend to put their chin down, especially if the photographer is shooting from a lower angle. The chin down tends to add more shadow. You lose a lot of detail. Chin up shows confidence. It also points your face more toward the light most of the time. So that's one piece of direction that you can take and give to your models. And I see that in these two images right here, one Ari is looking straight at me and one Ari is laughing. So she's kind of giggling with her head down, um, just a natural motion. But you can see there, is a big difference in the shadows and you see this one is overexposed a little bit but she's basking in that light so for a quick 15 minute shoot it was pretty good practice um, for shooting on the fly kind of reminded me of being in band class in high school and getting a random sheet of music and having to sight read this page that you've never seen before it kind of sharpens the chops okay i can't let this video go on too long without letting you guys know about sumsbrand.com my online store for original art graphic tees and prints also if you haven't already done so check out my other channel shooting with shooters it's my photography podcast that i co-host with dial kasoko and james anthony each week we discuss our own photography journey as well as have guests on to talk about theirs and to share different tips they learned along the way so check out shooting with shooters right here on youtube subscribe hit that bell share like comment you know what to do